So today I'm gonna to be sharing my favorites with you. Stuff I'm loving, stuff I've been using, stuff I've discovered. So we'll start off with this because every time I post this, I get questions about it. It is a glass tumbler with a lid and a straw. I'm really trying to eliminate like metal and plastics. I've been trying to take this rather than like um, one of the metal like Stanley type cups. It is glass. You have to be careful like because I've bumped my teeth on it a few times. It obviously isn't going to keep your drink cool for that long. I take this with me to work every single day and I love it. Another thing that I want to share which shouldn't be a surprise is our new toiletry. I call this like the box bag because really you can use it for anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be for travel. Use it to take your kids stuff if you're going to a soccer game, if you're going out for the day and it's washable and it has our signature wall print. It's currently sold out but it's going to be restocked Thursday. If you want it I would definitely Mark your calendars for Thursday so you can snag one. Okay, starting off with beauty, I have to mention this because I've used this brush. I think I've owned like 10. I use this underneath my eye for blending out concealer. I use it to kind of soften my eyeshadow. I use it for setting underneath my eye. It's amazing. I feel like this is the one brush that's kind of irreplaceable and it needs a wash. This last year, my hair has been awful. I have a ton of flyaways. I don't know if it's new growth or breakage. Whatever it is, it causes this like fuzz up here in this area. I picked this up. We were shopping, I think Anthropology, and I saw this and I just grabbed it and I love it. Every morning I have to do this every time I'm getting ready or I look like I just woke up. I do my edges and it smells so good product that I recently started using. It is the Salt and Stone Neroli and Basil deodorant. Oh, I, I want to like apply it all over. So good. I think they have four scents. The other ones have body lotion and spray except for this one. I have no idea why. This smells so good. I have two little fragrances to share because this one I've been using for the last like year. People compare it to the Baccarat Rouge. It kind of smells like that. It can't, it, I don't, wouldn't say it's a dupe. I love it. Is that light kind of getting in the way? Shared this on Instagram. This is an exact dupe for the Tom Ford Cherry. I've never smelled anything that was so exact. If you put them side by side and blindfolded me, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference. Okay, a few beauty favorites. I've already talked about this. Tower 28, I love it. It is the best lip, just throw on lip product. I'm trying to block the light. <laughs> okay, moving on is this Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer. So good. Oh, it's super lightweight, super soft. Used it today, <laughs> which I don't know if you're going to be able you, I just, I was going to say it looks like the light's like beaming within your skin, but the backlight's kind of doing that for me right now. <laughs> So I've been using castor oil. It's supposed to be great for inflammation. It's one of the only oils that penetrates really deep into the skin. I started using this on my face about a year and a half ago. I apply it and I use it as a moisturizer morning and night. I use very little and I mainly use it around my eye area. This one comes with a little dropper and um, I will link the exact one below. Another product that I've been using that probably for about a year and a half. This is an NAD. I, there's different brands. Um, and I started taking this about a year and a half ago. It, I heard this podcast. They weren't even talking about like any brands. They were talking about NADs and how much they make a difference in like the aging process from, you know, your cognitive health to your appearance. And so I just was curious. I did my own research and I started taking them and I really have noticed a difference. I'm just sharing. Do your own research, but I just thought I'd share like what I have been taking. These Mew Mew loafers. I love these. These are a recent splurge. I was looking for a white, like off-white cream loafer, especially for summer, spring. I've been really trying to be careful with my purchases, not by quantity, kind of by like quality and keep it minimal. I splurged on these. They're like a penny loafer. Um... I would say like they're in between like a loafer and a moccasin. They are the most comfortable flat I've ever worn. I think they're called driving shoes. Maybe I'll see if I can link some dupes below because 
my only concern is they're gonna get a little dirty because they're like a suede. The last item I'm gonna talk about is the V-necks. So these are the classic V-necks from my line and I'm not just saying this because I'm biased, but I could literally wear this every day. I want it in every color. This um, hat comes in navy, mushroom, and now in burgundy, which, ugh, it's gorgeous. I couldn't even find it because I wear that one so much. For me, throwing this on with jeans, throwing this on with joggers, throwing this on with shorts in the summer, like it is one of those pieces, like I said, that you're gonna get a lot of use out of. It's classic, it's sleek, it's quiet, and I love it. It's a great like transitional piece for spring because you can wear it into summer. I think that's it. I know this is really a random favorite, but I'm really gonna try to upload these videos every couple weeks. So anything that I come across that I'm loving, um, whether it be wellness or fashion or beauty, I'll come on and share it with you. And if you guys have any requests, you can feel free to leave them down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.